Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Today's video is called, Why Do Puppies Sleep So Much? In today's video, we're going to talk about the reasons why puppies sleep so much. I'm going to be giving you a few tips to help your puppy to get the sleep that he needs. We're going to talk a little bit about how much sleep does a puppy need. Uh, and I'm also going to give you some great resources today. I'm going to give you a link for a free training on step-by-step uh, -step how to set up a schedule for your puppy. I'm also going to give you a link for a free training on uh, crate training for your puppy so that you can teach your puppy to be okay with sleeping in a crate at night or during the day if you choose to crate train your puppy. I'm also going to give you a link for a fantastic puppy training that is super, super inexpensive expensive and uh, super effective. And I'm also going to have a little free gift for you uh, during the video today. So I hope that you'll stay tuned. If you find the video to be helpful, I would appreciate if you would give it a like. It helps YouTubers a lot when you do that. And just briefly before we get started, if you have not been here before, my name is Deborah. I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. And I do several videos a month all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you have a pet that you would like to get continued help with, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber if you're not subscribed already. And please go ahead and share the, uh, this YouTube channel with your friends and family who have a pet because they might appreciate the help as well. And I always ask if there is a topic that you don't see a video for, video for on my channel and you would like some more information, please feel free to comment. If I can do it for you, I will. Okay, again, thanks so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started in today's video. Now, like I said, I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. We're going to use this article on my website called Why Do Puppies Sleep So Much? Kind of as the template to help me uh, follow along and make sure I don't miss ever anything in today's video. I am going to give you a link to this article in the description box, and I'm going to give you a link to anything that I talk about or recommend in the video. I'll give you the links to everything in the description box. So you can go back and read this article if you want to. Uh, all the links will be available. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, it is completely normal for a puppy to sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. <laughs> now, if you're on this video, you probably have a puppy that is sleeping this amount of time and you're on here wondering, like, is this okay? It is okay. It is normal for a puppy to sleep up to 18 to 20 hours a day. Why do they sleep so much? Um, just like with human babies, sleep is essential to uh, the development of their brain, their nervous system, their muscles, their immune system, and also just for their healthy growth. Growing is, is hard work. All right. Um, also, puppies go, grow quite rapidly, so they need to sleep a lot during growth spurts. I mentioned in the article, my high school boyfriend was six foot four inches tall, and his mother told me that when he was in middle school, he grew eight inches in one summer. Guess what he did that whole summer? She said he slept. She said he slept the whole summer while his body proceeded to grow eight inches. He only got up to shower and to eat. She said he would wake up and he would eat mountains of food and then he would go right back to bed. He slept the whole summer and he grew eight inches. So I just use that as an example. Um, just like children, just like kids, um, just like humans, uh, puppies need a lot of sleep while they're growing. Okay. Now, this doesn't mean that puppies don't have energy. We all know that puppies uh, can be super energetic, uh, but I'm sure that you've witnessed a puppy who one minute he's playing and, and having fun and the very next minute he's like fast asleep. Uh, human toddlers will do the same thing. I always say a toddler will play until they drop. <laughs> and it's the same thing with puppies. They'll keep going and going until they physically just fall fast asleep. So. Um, now, I always say in my YouTube videos, if you feel something's not right with your puppy, always call your vet. You know, it's better safe than sorry. If you do feel like, okay, fine, puppies sleep a lot, but my puppy, I can never wake him up. Uh, you know, if you're concerned, follow your instincts and call the vet and, and just make sure, you know, that your puppy is okay. And, you know, for the whole life of your dog, for the whole life of all of your pets, follow your instincts. If you think something might be wrong, you might be right. Okay. So by the end of today's video, I think 
think you'll have more of an understanding about, you know, what is appropriate for your puppy. But like I say, if you are concerned about how much your puppy is sleeping or not sleeping, uh, please call your vet. All right. Now, um, let's just continue on here. Let's do some tips uh, to help your puppy to sleep. Obviously, we've uh, we've been discussing the fact that this amount of sleep is necessary for the puppy. It's necessary for their health, their growth, and their, their uh, development, okay? First thing you can do is provide your puppy with a place to sleep. Um, provide either a doggy bed or a crate in a quiet part of your house where your puppy can sleep. Whenever he looks sleepy or if he's like falling asleep during play, gently place him in his bed or his crate, and you're kind of teaching him. He'll eventually learn that that's his place to sleep and that's where he can go to sleep. Um, I'm going to give you a link in the description box for a nice supply of puppy beds on Amazon, and I'm also going to give you a link uh, on Amazon for crates for your puppy. Um, so before you buy a crate, first of all, I'm going to recommend to you during this video, I'll give you the link for a, a free training about crate training. Make sure you do that before you buy a crate because you want to make sure that you're getting the right crate for your puppy in the right size, okay? Now, uh, the second tip to help your puppy get the sleep that he needs is to keep a schedule for your puppy. Uh, try to plan your puppy's day so that he gets some nap time after he's been active. Um, for example, you might um, have some play time with him in the morning, take him for a walk, and then allow him the time to take a nap. Realize that nap might be 30 minutes. It might be two hours, okay? So you have to let the puppy get and have the sleep that he needs. Then maybe later in the afternoon, you have some more play time with him. Him, you take him for another walk and then he gets nap time again. So just keep it in mind during your puppy's schedule, during his little puppy day, that napping is part of his schedule. He needs to be having sleep time throughout the day. Okay. Uh, now, I promised you some help with this. If you've been here before, you've heard me talk about Doggy Dan. He is a professional dog trainer and a behavioral specialist. He owns the dog training website called the theonlinedogtrainer.com. I'm going to give you a link to my review of that dog training program in the description box. Um, now I'm going to give you two resources regarding the schedule for your puppy. One is an article on my website called Making a Schedule for Your Puppy, Consistency is Key. I'll give you a link to that article, and it has a nice video in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm also going to give you a link for Doggy Dan's step by step training. It's called Eight Week Old Puppy Schedule. The Ultimate Guide to Training Your New Puppy. That's a free training. It's step-by-step -by, -step by Doggy Dan, and it's super, super helpful and very detailed about setting up a schedule for your puppy. Another tip I can give you for helping your puppy get the sleep that he needs is to notice when he's overtired. Allowing your puppy to become exhausted or overstimulated can lead to bad behavior. Plus, it's just not good for him. You know, it's just like a kid. You know, you see, you know, a baby who has missed his nap time and they're cranky and they're irritable and they're upset and they're crying and they're behaving badly. It's because they're tired. Puppies the same way. Okay, so it's not a good idea to let him get overtired or let him get exhausted. It's not good for him. So if he seems uh, drowsy, take him to his bed or his crate and, and encourage him to get settled down, get, you know, and just help him to get settled down. Um, and remember, if you have kids, um, your children are going to have tons of energy and they're going to want to go and go and go with the puppy, especially if it's a new puppy. So always make sure that you're putting limits um, for your kids if they're playing with the puppy, that the puppy can only play for a certain amount of time and then they need to let the puppy have a nap time. OK, just keep that in mind that your kids might not be as good a judge as you about whether the puppy might be getting too tired. OK, also, don't disturb the puppy. Um, try not to disturb your puppy when he's sleeping. I know it's hard to resist, but don't get in the habit of snuggling with him and letting him fall asleep in your arms or in your lap because you don't want him to become dependent on you in order to fall asleep. You want him to be able to go to his bed and go to sleep without cuddling you, without being held by you, without sitting on your lap. Um, not to say you can never do that with your puppy, but don't do it so much that he's going to be dependent on that in order to fall asleep. Um, and again, also remember to teach your children not to disturb the puppy while he's sleeping. <clears throat> Very important point. Make sure that you keep an eye on your puppy when he is sleeping because he will need to go potty within minutes of waking up. Okay, when you have a puppy in the house and they take a nap or you get up in the morning, you don't have a half hour to get your coffee and get dressed and then take that. No, puppies need to go outside within minutes of waking up. 
I'm going to try to pause the video for a second so I can take a drink. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't need to pause it. I'm just going to take a sip of water. My throat's getting kind of scratchy. By the way, I'm loving this. I've got a filtered water thing in my fridge that I love because I don't have to lug those cases of bottled water into the house anymore. I got it on Amazon and I've been buying a whole lemon and slicing it up. And I put one slice of lemon in my water every day. I'm just passing it on. I love it. It's really good. Apparently the lemon helps to like cleanse your liver and stuff. I don't know. Plus I just like the, the taste of it. So sorry for the interruption. Now, let's talk about helping your puppy sleep at night. Um, if your puppy cries at night, you might want to refer to my article called How to Stop, Stop a Puppy from Crying. I do also have um, videos on this YouTube channel. I have one specifically about puppies crying at night. So go ahead and check out those videos if you want or refer to my article. The article has a nice uh, video in it. Um, that article addresses puppies crying at night, puppies crying in their crate, and puppies crying when they're left alone. Okay, so go ahead and... Um, click that resource if you would like to. Now I'm going to interrupt my video briefly to invite you to subscribe to my dog lovers email list. I'm giving you a link in the description box. If you sign up for my dog lovers email list about once a week or so, you will get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com and it'll con uh, contain either an article or a blog post or a video all about dogs. So I think that you'll find it helpful and I would absolutely love to have you on board as an email subscriber. When you click the link to subscribe to that, um, I will send you a free copy of Doggy Dan's ebook, which is a basic uh, dog training ebook. It's a very nice little um, resource source and I'm happy to give it to you as a free gift uh, for subscribing to my dog lovers email. So I promised you some help with crate training. So I'm going to give you a link to a doggy dance training called Tips and Tricks for Crate Training a New Puppy. It is a very, very thorough um, training on uh, crate training. And when you go there, you can see his whole training. It's step by step. And he also includes a printable checklist for crate training. Honestly, it could not be easier to learn proper crate training uh, than going and doing this free training by Doggy Dan. I think that you're really going to enjoy it. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. So I'm going to give you the link to that. Go and check out the crate training for from Doggy Dan. And lastly, I'm going to, well, not lastly, second to lastly, because I got two more things to, to provide you with. There's a little sign up here in the article and I'll give you the links to that in the description box to sign up for information about Doggy Dan's potty training program. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but oh my God, isn't potty training like the biggest, you know, the hardest thing about having a new puppy? If you need some help with that, he has a puppy training program called Puppy Training Made Easy. It's super inexpensive. It's super effective. It's a free video series. I've watched all the videos. It's step by step training from Doggy Dan on how to potty train your puppy. So go ahead and sign up for that and I'll I'll give you the information to, to go and get that training, okay? Um, also, I want to mention uh, Doggy Dan's um, training called the puppy coach. Now I'm not going to do like a whole review of it here. Um, you can just go on my website. You can see the reviews. It's an absolutely awesome program. Uh, just go to the link I'm giving you. The most astounding thing about this to me is that it's only $19. When you find out what this includes, um, it is amazing. It has to do with every puppy uh, training issue that you can think of. And like I say, it's only $19 and it's really, really fantastic. It really is a very uh, thorough, step-by-step, -step, comprehensive video puppy training program. And it's only $19. So Doggy Dan has been the number one uh, dog training recommendation on my website for more than six years now. I really like his training. I really think it's effective. And I love that he makes it so affordable for people. So I, I wanted to give you that uh, recommendation. Now, I do hope that this has helped. Uh, congratulations on getting your new puppy. Um, with the right training and care, puppies can live a long and happy life and provide so much fun and comfort and love for us. Uh, please 
please feel free to comment below the video with any questions. I would love to know what kind of puppy you got, what's its breed, what's its name. And uh, I would love to hear if you have any suggestions about um, your puppy sleeping. If you want to tell me how much does your puppy sleep? Uh, do you think he doesn't sleep enough? Do you sleep, think he sleeps too much? Um, if you have a hard time getting your puppy to sleep, go ahead and comment. We can talk about that in, in the comment section if you'd like. Always feel free to comment, okay? Now, I just want to leave you with one more thing before we go. If you have not been here before, you don't know that I donate to animal charities. Uh, I have been doing PeopleLovingAnimals.com as my full-time job since 2015, and I am an affiliate for some, not all, of the products and services that I recommend on my website. What I do is I find products and services that I want to recommend to my subscribers. I decide on the ones that I want to recommend, and then I apply to the company to be uh, become an affiliate, they give me an affiliate link. And then whenever you purchase the product using my link, I get a small commission. That's how I do peoplelovinganimals.com as my job. I donate 10% of all of the commissions that I earn to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you'll see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So I would love to have you um, go ahead and, and you know, uh, try out some of these programs and things that I recommend. Um, and if you make the purchase through my links, I'll go ahead and donate 10% of my commission to animal charities. So a couple things before we leave, uh, in the description box of today's video, I'm going to give you, um, the link to this article that we've used for today, if you want to go back and read it or click on anything in it, I'm going to give you a link to Doggy Dan's free training for uh, setting up a schedule for your puppy. Um, and that does talk about their sleep schedule as well. It's, it's very, very thorough. It talks about everything that you need to schedule for your puppy. I'll give you that. I'll also give you the link for the free crate training. I'll give you a link uh, to sign up for... Um, the information on the potty training program if you would need like help with that and I'll also give you the link uh, for the puppy coach uh, for that $19 uh, complete puppy training so you can check that out too if you would like to and I will give you a um, link to a couple of those articles that I that I told you about uh, that, that are on my website and I'll give you the link to go ahead and subscribe to the dog lovers email list and when you subscribe to that I'll give you doggy Dan's little free ebook about dog training. So again, go ahead and um, put comments in the, in the uh, comment box if you have questions or if you have suggestions. Keep me posted on how you're doing with some of these tips. I would really love to hear from you. So again, I hope so much that today's video has helped. Congratulations on your new little sweetie. Again, my name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye. I love this picture, don't you? Isn't he the cutest little? Oh, I don't know how we're supposed to survive with all this cuteness. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.